Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Sandeep Sharma and we have Dr. Arjun with us today. Dr. Arjun has really done well in the exam. He has got a rank of 12 in the NEED Super Speciality Pediatric Part 2022. And he has got a stupendous score of 433 out of 600, which is more than 70%. So we welcome Dr. Arjun to this interview. So Dr. Arjun, Thank first you, of all, Thank congratulations. Thank so, you, sir. So has this feeling of, you know, getting a top 12 rank, has it really sunk in? Or you are still, you know, trying to uh, come to terms with this uh, nice feeling? Like for the first few hours, I was like shocked. But later on, I thought like I did well. <laughs> I prepared. So this is your first so, attempt. This is your first attempt, or you uh, yes, attempt yes, before? First, first attempt. First attempt. Nice, nice. And please tell me about your uh, background also. Uh, sir, I uh, did my undergraduate from uh, Government Medical College Trivandrum and also um, MD Pediatrics from Government Medical College Trivandrum, SAT Hospital. Okay. And I completed my senior residency also. Hmm. Nice. So mm -hmm. when did you start preparing seriously for the exam? Like you started very early as some people these days do, or you finished your MD and then thought about, you know, going into No, the sir. I, after finishing my MD only, I decided that I should do something. Like uh, while doing MD, like I was not that oriented that I should take uh, some super specialty. Uh, so uh, after finishing my MD, I decided like six months back, six months back, actually, I decided that I should um, start preparing. So I subscribed uh, Prepladder from information from my friends and as well as I got some uh, information from the net also that uh, it would be good to subscribe something. So I decided and went on to uh, subscribe Prep Ladder six months back. But my uh, rate of studying was hours of studying and also the rate of studying was very slow and very low. Uh, that reflected in my NESS also. I, di I didn't got some uh, like good scores. Like uh, I got a score that I qualified, but I couldn't attend the, uh, like uh, get a score that, uh, to attend the interviews in AIMS. So, uh, but the scores were uh, so close. So I understood that if I give some more like effort uh, in the next months, like I can do well in NEET SS. Mm -hmm. So I completed my senior residency uh, like two to three months back uh, in June. So I decided like I had two months, June, July, August and September was exam. So two months I completely, I had. So I decided to like completely go on to this without working anything. I just started uh, seriously preparing for the last two, two and a half months. Nice, nice. So when you started preparing, you said uh, you start, you decided just six months back that you will be, you know, cracking the exam. So uh, you must have done something special or you must have uh, done a lot of hard work in that area. So how many hours per day you were putting in? Like sir, for the last two, two and a half months, I, like I was studying around like nearly 16 hours per day, nearly, uh, for the last two, two and a half months. I, I was not going for any work also. Uh, like I had time, I had time and I decided that the, uh, like I should crack it this time or otherwise I will leave it, <laughs> leave it and I will start working, uh, working. So uh, like for the two months, I decided to give a sincere effort. So I did the same uh, and, and anyway, it paid off. So everyone who's listening to this interview, Dr. Arjun has given a very important and subtle message to you that uh, if you start quite late also, still you can reach the end race better than others. The point is to put in that extra effort. And if you have only two, three or four months left and you feel your preparation is lagging, you will increase the number of hours. Put your pad, uh, feet on the accelerator, just press it down and you will be able to reach the finishing line as Dr. Arjun did. So Dr. Arjun, uh, what were the resources that you were using? You said you uh, subscribed to Prep Ladder. Other than that, obviously, you must have read Nelson. Any other textbooks also you referred or these two resources were enough for you? Uh, sir, actually, uh, the core was these two resources. And uh, Prep Ladder, I, like, um, I completed before these two months, I just completed only like around 20 videos, ar ar around 20 videos only. But by the next one month, actually, uh, since I was putting more effort, I could complete uh, nearly like 90 more than 90 percentage of all the videos of, of prep ladder uh, so the, uh, and i had notes of that too like uh, 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 they were printed notes but also i had my own written notes for that so by one month actually i uh, completed almost all the uh, lectures from prep ladder uh, meanwhile i was referring nelson also 
like uh, like when servers uh, no, uh, telling that from this is from that area that I will go and see in, see it from Nelson. Also, uh, during my UG period, I completely depended upon Nelson only for the theory. So, I had a, a good look into this, and also I, I had some few participation, some quiz programs. So I was into like some of the those important points from Nelson. So I had a uh, I, I won't say a good look of Nelson, but I had a look of Nelson before also. So I I was like familiar. So I could uh, really, that was, uh, I benefited from that uh, previous knowledge. So, um, and uh, like Cloherty, I had a look during my NESS uh, neonatology exam. So Cloherty, I re read almost like like 70%, uh, maybe all those chapters, I, I had a look during my NESS exam. So actually both Cloherty, uh, Nelson and um, prep ladder notes and I fired during the late uh, parts of exam after seeing your videos I just went on to see the IAP guidelines then AOCN guidelines um, NTEP NACO guidelines so uh, during the last 10 days I uh, had one or two days for that those things uh, so that was my uh, preparations as sum up but Nelson actually all the systems I had a good cover except CNS because uh, I was like little bit lag uh, so I couldn't complete the whole of the CNS but the epilepsy seizures part I really went, uh, read well but that benefited also for example there was many questions from that area also so uh, actually all these areas I selected after seeing your uh, videos sir, from the YouTube sessions I just uh, wrote down those areas what you are mentioning which are repeatedly asking so I went and uh, while the revision part uh, in the from Nelson, I read only those areas, not the whole pages. One or two times I had the whole look, and uh, during the last revision, I had the, only those important areas. I looked for the important areas that you mentioned, especially that last video was very helpful. Um, that those points, I, I, almost like like I I should say like fifty percent came from those topics. <laughs> See, end of the day, it's not about, it's based upon, see, there is a lot of topic repetition in super speciality. The point is to have an in-depth knowledge of the things which are always asked in the exam. Like if you are, if you're going into the exam and uh, I, I always give the example of Dijord syndrome. If you yes. make a mistake in Dijord syndrome, I don't think, frankly, uh, as a matter of fact, we're all professionals. Frankly, there is somebody else who deserves it better. If you know that the uh, topic is going to be asked in the exam and you don't prepare it well. So the point is to have high accuracy, high in-depth knowledge in the high yield areas and um, a broad coverage in general. So that if any rare topic is asked, still you are able to do well. So Dr. Arjun, uh, I'm finding a common pattern. Like this is, I think the sixth, fifth or sixth interview I'm taking since yesterday. And almost two or three people have told that uh, they were also giving the IAP quizzes and a lot of quizzes during their PG days and uh, indirectly that preparation, whatever they prepared for that, that also came in handy. Your comments on that? Ah, yes, sir, definitely. Because uh, I went only up to the state level, uh, just below the state level. So, uh, but uh, I had two attempts, like in second year, my first year also and my second year also, I just uh, gave, gave, uh, tried for those quizzes. So uh, what I did was like had a Nelson, like all those um, uh, important highlighted parts of the Nelson, I had a note, I had a notebook for that. So uh, like I had an idea from where the, those tough questions may come. So that was really helpful actually. I didn't went on to look for that notes actually because I knew what was in that. <laughs> like it was like a so it MHO was a one only. It was kind of you, you had done like subtle preparation you had already done before you ah, actually yes, started yes. preparing. So that's nice. Yes, and Nelson was so familiar because I uh, went, went on to prepare for that quiz. So, so even if somebody is not, you know, targeting the DM exam or you're not, they're not sure, at least being active in academic activities is also important. It does help. Uh, you yes, sir. Really, really. Yes, sir. Uh, so, Dr. Arjun, uh, what is your analysis of the paper? How did you find the paper? And if you have to sit again, uh, suppose you don't have to sit now, but if you have to sit again in the paper, what are the areas you would say to yourself that these are the areas I should be focusing more? Uh, sir, actually... Um, Many questions, even in that question paper itself, like uh, for example, cystinuria was asked twice. Mm. Um, like Zelviga was asked twice. Like two questions were from there. So uh, thyroid, there were many questions. So actually the uh, important topics, they have asked multiple questions. Mm. So uh, like if uh, there is also some effort, like uh, the cystinuria question, I could crack only because I went for the, those questions 
like simultaneously i read it together like hus question was there that was also asked twice so actually uh, we should have an in, like in depth knowledge about those repeated topics the whole other topics just go for the surface only uh but uh, what i realized was uh, the other parts also i just went into some depth from nelson but that actually didn't benefited for this exam like one liners like we we were searching intensely for one liners from nelson that one liners was less in this question so um but depends on what the uh, question paper is like if the next time it will it is more going to be more one liners then you will have to prepare like that so at least you have to uh, have one or two reads of nelson anyways mm -hmm. and but in depth knowledge about these repeated areas uh, should be there uh, to crack that question because even if you know if even if i say to my mind that I, i know this topic but it will be difficult to crack that question because that question was the questions and the options were like it was like um, going so much deep into that topic so um, uh, that repeated questions anyway you should have a like uh, it uh, maybe the clinical knowledge also had some um, role in answering this paper like i would say like 120 questions were doable uh, like uh, 10 to 15 questions i just gave uh, sir was uh, telling repeatedly that take calculator risk so i was <laughs> trying to take maximum calculator risk i i attempted around 142 questions like eight questions i didn't had any idea <laughs> like values numbers mm. so i just left it but uh, nearly like 20 questions or 15 to 20 questions i took risk i think it benefited also yes. see at uh, end of the day if you want to really exceed some calculated risk has to be taken you can't be play too safe and uh, be successful mm -hmm. in this world that's how the world is you want to make money you want to be successful calculated risk with preparation obviously has to be done so uh, dr uh, arjun and uh, uh, one last uh, second last thing i'd like to ask you like uh, did you give grand test did you practice mcqs and what is the importance of uh, Yes, sir. Uh, that was like a routine. Like even if uh, I was like a little bit off on some days, I would uh, really do some questions. Uh, if I I was not okay, well, I would do questions those days. So uh, most of the days I would go uh, do like um, at least two chapters from prep ladder. Like any topic, selected topic, I would do. Not the corresponding topic that I would be studying any other. And I had both the grand tests also. Like I uh, like I. got uh, good ranks for the grand test also so i was a little bit more confident actually it is better to do uh, so that we can at least know which are the important topics which are the questions which are being repeated so the grand test was really uh, beneficial but uh, the pattern was like not uh, similar that we were not expecting such an exam this time so we can uh, really don't comment about that but still uh, both the grand tests were re really good and i had a like some of the questions when it came i to, uh, i came to know that even i i have in uh, even after going through nelson one or two times i missed some of the topics so uh, it was really helpful thanks and uh, dr arjun what are you going to take up now made up your mind uh, uh, all pediatric oncology sir i already i set my mind for oncology then only i started study great 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 so and uh, where are you, do you plan to take it up sir either tata memorial or rcc not decided till now okay. mostly tata memorial so you have time to take it <laughs> yeah and uh, so uh, whom do you want to dedicate this success to i'm quite sure a lot of people must have played a role there's a lot family. of people uh, yeah like so my, my, family, family. my family this is this is your time to take the names <laughs> like my family definitely there was no pressure for me i i can have my whole time and like study mm -hmm. uh then all my teachers at my um, institute i said the hospital like everyone were like promote uh, like uh, really caring and they they told to study anyway uh, give a uh, look at this exam and definitely you sir <laughs> everything i prepared around you uh, like i each and every time when there is a, where there was a video coming from prepared from you i would suddenly go and see what you are saying to get the out uh, inputs uh, like those were really ben uh, beneficial and also a few of my friends like three or four us had a constant touch and we were just sharing important points uh, along the way so uh, for my friends also so mission accomplished right yes sir. So, yes so uh, go on and uh, join uh, dm pediatric oncology 
and treat young kids, uh, bring them out of their suffering. Yes, and we hope that you become a big name in the coming years. Already you are a celebrity, but you become uh, make a mark in the field of pediatric oncology in the coming days. Wishing you all the very best. And uh, God bless you, Dr. Arjun. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your time.